All right, guys, here we are back on NASCAR Dirt Today, Tona. We're continuing our career mode, and we are continuing our journey in the Modifieds. Had an all right finish in the first race, executed the race pretty well, but we're going to do something a little bit cheeky here. Because our Dirt Series car is done, it's sitting in the Hall of Fame, it will never be raced again, we are going to strip it for parts and get some money out of it. The Dirt Today's Tona speedrunners like this move. So we're going to buy the cheapest parts and we're going to get a refund on the most expensive parts we have. So we're up to $8,100. Up to $9,700. Rip my dirt car, it's going to be slow again. $10,000. And $11,000. So let's go ahead and jump into the modified see if we can get some upgrades now the engine's a bit expensive suspension we could go with stage one balance stage one advanced is right there as well um that's only a thousand dollars more so i might hold out for that one after this first race we already got the best arrow and exhaust eleven thousand is a pretty good one uh that's lighter faster Believable durability. Drivers headed into an endurance race often choose this system. There aren't any endurance races in the modifieds. Uh, I think I will hold out for that better suspension just because there's such a big gap between stage one and stage two here that we probably will wait a long time to get that stage two. So I think I'll take the stage one after this next race. Let's go ahead and see what race it will be. It is going to be, sorry Dirt Series, at Crystal Lake Raceway, another $30,000 purse, so let's see what we can do. I'll see you guys there. All right guys, here we are at Crystal Lake Raceway. Let's go ahead and get out to qualify here. We've got some uh, sellout sponsors on our car now. Go, 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 go. Now this track is pretty interesting. If I were to uh, compare it to anything, I would say probably like a small version of like Homestead Miami. It is, uh, it is kind of just a, uh, oval with a little bit of banking in the corners. Like, that's, that's what I would describe it. Much like a lot of NASCAR tracks, but it's very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Congruent all the way around. Like, it seems like everything is exactly the same. This has not been a good lap, by the way. Three and four, a bit better there, as long as we don't hit the wall. Nice, we'll see what the time comes out as. Right. It's a 25 flat. Let's see where that puts us. It's gonna put us 11th, so not as bad as last time, and we're on the inside lane again. So I'll see you guys in the race. All right, guys, it is race time here at Crystal Lake, 20 laps, and we are down and away, so let's see what we can do. We seem to have a nice restart here in this modified. Uh, excuse me, sir, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Three wide into turn one. Who wants to make it four? There we go. Uh-oh. All right. We're gonna... How are we gonna do this? All right, I guess we'll just get stuck on the outside. Great. And purged a couple positions there, although we got a big run on Jimmy F's. Just getting into the corners too hot. I gotta be a bit more conservative on entry. This is almost like a I mean this is a pretty wide open track to these modifieds. Do have to lift a bit in the corners, but you can pick up some pretty good speed here. And uh, settled into 12 now. I think we can run down a couple cars ahead of me, so we'll see what we can do. All right, so we've settled into a real bubble here with 14 laps to go, and uh, yeah, absolutely nothing is happening. And I think it's a bit unfortunate that we're probably not gonna get into the top 10, as uh, that's our sponsor deal right there for uh, the Moat restaurants, I'm pretty sure. So they're gonna be pretty upset with me. Got a J Justin up there ahead of me, so we'll see if we can maybe run him down. He's got my uh, my first name is his last name. You're definitely closing 
closing on uh, Mr. Justin right there, so Let's see if we can get him. Might go a lap down as well here soon. All right, so we're coming around to get nine to go, and we have the uh, leader in my back or in my rearview mirror there, and he is uh, he's coming pretty quickly. I'm a little bit scared about this, so Let's see what he decides to do. Yeah. I was going up the track a little bit there, but that's okay. And we are actually going to lap somebody right about when the leader gets to me as well, so I don't feel so bad, but it's one last lap to try and uh, run down Jay Justin, so you only have uh, seven to do it now. Alright, so we got four to go now since we're one down. We'll see if we can uh, possibly get up there. It's only one point five seconds up the road just about and he's getting uh, harassed by some lead lap bullies so I am the biggest hypocrite in the universe man whenever uh, I'm trying to chase down or pass lap cars they're damn lap cars and whenever I'm one of the lap cars getting chased down and passed the lead lap cars are bullies basically what I'm saying is I'm always right I don't think we're going to catch him. It's going to be a tough ask here, although... Let's see. Two to go. It's only two laps. We're going to need to eat seven tenths. Our only real hope is that he gets held up a lot by this lap car. Might get to the inside on the straight, so lap, lap. not quite gonna be there, unfortunately. All right, so it looks like it's going to be another 12th place finish. So unfortunately, no top 10 bonus, but we're gonna have enough money to make our upgrade make to our suspension. William Anderson gets the win, and uh, we got the tough break award, starting 11th and finishing 12th, so the racing clearly wasn't that good. As you can see, literally everybody finished where they started except for 11th and 12th. I would demand my money back after this race. Alright, so let's take a look at the payout. It's a smooth $4,300, so that's pretty good with the low tier sponsors and stuff. You can see that there's a lot more money in the Featherlight Modified series. And uh, another 12th place finish, so we're 14th in the season standings, I guess that makes sense. And uh, Ken's Garage placed 17th or better, that's even worse. Ken's Garage, how does that look? Ken's Garage and towing, no thank you. We're going to hold out a little bit more. We're going to take this suspension upgrade as well now that we have 15,000. Uh, I could get the first engine upgrade, I think. Man, that is some big horsepower. I think we're just going to roll with suspension. We're going to do the uh, 12,000. So we're going to have even more grip. And uh, that's just going to make us a bit better through the corners, which there are a lot of in this modified series. So let's go ahead and see what the next race is. It is going to be after two dirt races, and it is going to be a Welch Valley, the road course, the modified road course, and a $45,000 payday. We really need to deliver a good result here. I'll see you guys in the race. All right, guys, it is time to get out here and qualify at Welch Valley. As you can see, we are heading in a different direction than usual. So let's go ahead and jump out here. We get a take to the track oh, second. Oh, oh. Now, this is an entirely original road course in this game that is only used for the Modified series. And like, I don't even know how to explain how awesome that is to have that in a game from 2002. And the thing is, like, the track flows. It is a, a fun track to drive. And uh, yeah, it's just an incredible track. And I kind of wonder if it's on NR 2003. I might have to uh, check that out. We are uh, not doing too well there on the outlap, but 
That's why it's just a practice outlap. Oh, we got a dual left-hander here. The ultimate race place, Welch Valley. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game, to be perfectly honest, just because of its, you know, it being completely original. This is the only, you know, game that it appears in, the only series it appears in. Oh, that wasn't good. Alright, well, let's see what kind of qualifying lap we can put in with some damage here. The car's a little bit, a little bit wiggly, it's not quite on a rail. But hey, sometimes an unstable car is a fast car. Ooh, get up onto the curbs there, that sound. That's a pretty good curb sound for 2002. Of course, curb being spelled K-E-R-B. Alright, take it right out to the grass there. Very nice. This hasn't been a bad lap at all. Just not throw. Uh-oh. That's not good. A little bit untidy there. We can definitely do better than that in the race, so. We'll see what the time is as we come off the final corner. Down to the line at Welch Valley. Alright, that's a 122. We are uh, gonna qualify 12th. Look at the disparity in this field. We are 8 seconds off, and there's a 14 second gap between the top car and the last car. My goodness. Alright, so we'll see how we do in the race. I will see you guys there. Alright guys, it is Get race that. time here at the Don't Welch worry. Valley Racing Complex. Flag. And we have 8 laps today, so we'll see how we do here. So we have that restart gear. I think the uh, big thing is we really need to... We really need to deliver a top 10 as we already... Uh, Gave our back end a little shot there. Slide to the inside of Casper and to the inside of Brown, although we don't quite have the straight line speed yet. We've got no uh, straight line speed upgrades, exhaust or engine. Although we got that turn, so we're able to get to the inside, up into ninth now. Highest we've ever been. Oh, easy now. <laughs> it's gonna cut it a little bit there. FIA not pleased. No, we're not that far off these guys ahead of me. It's just in a straight line. We're suffering a bit, but turns were definitely pretty quick. That's possible, but a top five is on the cards. We got seven laps to do it. As long as we stop sliding through that turn. <laughs> About killed it there on the inside. So it's at about a second right now. We'll see if we can cut it down a bit. Five laps to go. All right, so we got five to go, and we are uh, we are not cutting it down. <laughs> it's just like I'm sliding here or there. I'm just going a little bit wide here or there, and it's costing me as I don't really have the car to uh, to be able to afford those mistakes. You know, sometimes you can get bailed out by having a really fast car, but. 
I pretty much need to be perfect to make up any time, and that's asking a bit too much of me, so I think we're going to have to settle for this ninth, and unless anything crazy happens, but as you can see, the leader is 15 seconds up the road, and we are on our fourth lap, so, uh, jeez, man. Oh, man, we're killing it through there. Nice. Alright, so we got two to go, and we have some uh, competition now for ninth, so we're going to have to protect this position with all we got. Casper's really closed down the gap as I went wide a little bit earlier, and that lost me a lot of time in the grass, so you shall see. Oh, turn, baby, turn. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a big impact. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Definitely not blocking or anything this car has now got a bit of a uh, left toe in it it is not going straight anymore I'm not on the uh, turn and it's turning left the leader already getting the white flags we got a long way to go we have to defend this top 10 we need the money the car is rattling shaking Oh, wow. That thing went wide. Oh, couldn't even get back to him. That's, those tires don't look right. <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to bounce like that. Alright, we gotta defend this top ten with our lives, so uh, one lap to save a three tenths lead. Lap, lap. We're so slow in a straight line, so slow. We're just gonna run him out of room out there. <laughs> that was definitely uh, a bit of a dirty move, but I couldn't turn. I'm innocent, I swear. I'm not innocent. Wow! Look at that, we couldn't even turn. I gotta go for it, we need the top 10 money. I'm not even gonna be close enough to make a dive, am I? Nope. Oh, we're throwing, we're throwing. <laughs> that is devastating. Oh no, the car didn't turn. I got turned. I'm Kyle Bush. Well, back to 12th where we belong, I suppose, and we got big damage. <laughs> well, that's going to be uh, rough on the old payday. Dang, man, we had a top 10 all but sewn up. We're going to have to defend just to hold on to 12th, but we will. We'll get him next time. Yeah, we'll get him next time, hopefully. Let's go ahead and see what kind of payday is. That was a really disappointing finish. All right, so we end up with $4,400. As you can see, $404 in damage. That's pretty rough. Um, and we are up to 13th in the standings now. So, we still have Ken's Garage. My 17th or better in a race. Jeez, you guys are brutal on me. We're going to hold out even more. It's a risk, but... uh. That's where we're going to stop it for this episode. I really appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel to keep up with the series. Like and comment on this video as well. And the next race out is going to be a Mankato Raceway. Another um, unique track for this game. As well as Elk River. So I will see you guys there. Thanks for watching.